Good morning, welcome students. Today is the concluding part of this poem. An elementary school classroom in a slum, written by Stephen Spencer. Here already we have done it that for class struggle for justice he had done a lot of work. Here we have seen how the children of slum area are suffering from poverty and malnutrition. So poverty and malnutrition. This is the reason for their problem. In the fourth stanza, the poet has tried to express how the visitors, the governor, should come and do something for betterment of their life. Now we are going to see some poetic device that can that can be have been used here. So at first we see. Rhyme scheme. Here, there is no rhyme scheme in this poem, so this poem follows three words. Because there is no rhyme scheme, so this poem follows three words. And the second poetic device that has been used here is repetition. Repetition means repeating of word, same word. So here in stanza one and line that starts far far. So the word far far has been repeated, and in stanza four, line four, break o oh break. Here also break has been repeated. Now imagery means mental imagination. Here it has been used in stanza one. Line three, weighted down head. So we have the imagination of those children, especially that tall girl, who had been very much depressed due to the lack of facility and due to the presence of poverty and helplessness. So here we have seen what is the situation of the. Poor children through repetition, through imagery, and now we are going to see the most important part of poetic device that is simile. Here, simile stanza one and line two. Stanza one and line two. Here, like rootless weeds, like rootless weeds. In this. Expression: Children have been, children have been compared with the weeds. As the weeds are unwanted in any garden, here these children are just in such situation that they are not welcome. They are not treated in a very good way by the society. In stanza three, line six. In stanza three, line six, here is the line "Light bottles." Here, light bottle beats on a stone. Light bottle beat on a stone. Here, their repaired spectacles have been compared. So here we see how these have been compared. It their spectacles is broken and it shows that. They are suffering from poverty. Now, in the stanza four, line two, in the stanza four, line two, these windows that shut up on their lives like a curtain. Here, in the stanza four, it shows that they are their windows is not clearing the direction of their life. They are limited in their area, so their life is not good. They should be given a chance by the governor, by the inspector, by the minister to see the open world, 
out of their own world. So here we have seen these similes. So we have completed our simile. Now we are going to do. Now we are going to do metaphor. Here in metaphor, see stanza one line three. Stanza one line three. Paper singing boy. Paper singing boy means the boy has been compared to the thin paper. Means the thinness of the body shows that the boy is very thin due to the lack of nutrients. Next one, stanza two, line one. Stanza two, line one. Sour cream walls. Sour cream walls. Here in sour cream walls, it has been given the description of the wall that even though wall is of cream color, but this is sour means this is dull means the children who are studying. In this room, they are not happy and they are not given proper nutrients. Now, standard two, line two. Here, it has given civilized room writing all cities. Means, rich children, rich children are getting all the facilities. While these poor children, some area children, are not happy. Real facility, so the facility should be given to these poor children also, so that they can be equal to those rich children of the society of the cities. Now we say standard two again, line six. Their futures painted with a fog. Fog here, fog shows uncertainty. Fog shows hopelessness. Means the future of these children are like fog, means they are not clear in their future. And now, a standard to line 6, it is clear. And now we have a standard to line 8. A narrow street sealed in with a lead sky. With a lead sky. With a limited sky, it means limited future. Their future is limited. They are living in that small area and they are not in position to see out of the area. So limited their position is. And now we are seeing the last line of the standard three. Here, cramped holes. What the name? Cramped holes means their house, their home. Is like hole means they have limited area and they should try to go outside of there and this should be done by the people. And the fourth line is slag heap means their body is like waste, like heap, and it should be given proper attention towards them so that their future may be bright. And lastly, we see. In a stanza four, lastly we see in a stanza four there are two expressions for metaphor. Number one is in line number seven. In line number seven, here is the white and green leaves. The white and green leaves shows their happiness. They should be given happiness going to the city and going giving to the facility that the rich children get. And lastly, in line 8, the sentence is, last sentence is, history dears, means those people make history. History dears, those people make history whose language is sung. Whose language is sung does mean they think like sun, they speak like sun, they see the dream like sun, and their life is like brightness of sun, like uh, upwardness of sun, and upwardness here means see the bright future. So the bright future may be of the children. So now the poet wants 
to be these children equal to those children. This is the main motto and purpose of the poet. So we are going to finish this poem in the three sessions. I have completed this poem. So you should try to do hard level, continuous level, so that you can command over this poem. So for today, this is sufficient. Thank you, Helen.